Hello, 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 hello. It has been a while. It has really been a while. I am excited. Oh my goodness, a little. <laughs> a little bit shaky, a little bit uh, blurry. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry it's a little bit blurry, but I'm doing the best with what I got. Welcome to my first ever hand cam. Hello, hello. Can you see? Can you see? Hi, Perinko. Welcome. Yes, there we go with stream elements. Welcome. So, this is how I do puzzles. You see this? You see? My favorite kind of puzzles, first of all, color blocking puzzles. The reason I love them, I get to do this. Honestly, it's so satisfying even just looking at all the pieces. But a uh, tip for anyone who's interested in doing puzzles, it makes it a lot easier. It takes time. That's why I did it ahead of time. So you guys don't have to watch me slowly separate the pieces. But it's very worth it in my opinion. But welcome. Hello, hello, hello. I know, I agree, Perinko. I'm really happy that it was voted. It's also a lot easier because it's 500 pieces to finish in one stream. But yeah, this is exactly why I picked this puzzle to do, and I'm really glad. So as you guys can see, this is going to be the puzzle. Hello, welcome. Welcome, bowls. I do have a lot of trays. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have a pretty... It's not extensive, but I have a pretty cool puzzle collection. I would love to show you guys someday. Maybe I will do a video on that. But I have these trays exactly for this purpose. Now this is the puzzle. Yeah! Oh my goodness, yay! Good, good, good. It makes me glad that you guys are also excited about this. But yeah, I would have loved to do any of the puzzles. I did pick ones that have like distinctive colors for this purpose. But this is, uh, this is how I do puzzles. Welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well. It has definitely been a while, hasn't it? And sorry if I like move in and out. Let me know if my sound sounds okay. I had to like experiment a lot with positioning and hopefully it, oop, hopefully it sounds okay for you guys. Now I'm just gonna move these out of the way so I can get started and then we can still talk while we do it. Do this, then this, this, and I think even by like the color split, you guys can tell which is supposed to be which EV evolution. All right, so I always start with corners and edges. And do you guys use boxes when you do puzzles? I actually don't, I try not to. Not because I don't think you should or it's like a cheat or anything, but I genuinely enjoy the challenge of trying to do a puzzle without having the box. Okay, so it's gonna be this, this, and I do not remember how big this is gonna be. These two are kind of like iffy. It could be like this, it could be like this. So we'll figure that out. All right. Now, if I'm slow to respond to chat, it's just because of my setup, but I promise I will make sure to look as often as I can. Is anyone else here, avid puzzlers? I honestly, this is one, has one hobby that I never have, uh, not never, but I've always wanted to do on stream because you don't see a lot of it. I think it's really fun. I hope I can do it with gloves. As you can see, already struggling. Hmm. Oof, but... Curse these hands. In <laughs> forever. Yeah, to be fair, I think a lot of people did them during the pandemic. And then after that, we were, everyone was really excited to get out there again. And I just, I really enjoyed it. I've always loved doing puzzles. So for me, I was super excited to see all like the puzzle content that came out during that period. Oh, there we go. This, uh, actually, I'm not any closer to figuring out which way that's supposed to go. I try to do puzzles, like, I don't always do them, but I usually, I'd say, like, I probably do at least once, one a month. 
And what I do is I just leave it in somewhere where I don't bother or affect anything. And then come, once in a while, I'll come and do it. And it's a nice break from like my screen. It's just a nice something very simple, very straightforward. I think I don't have enough of the brown pieces. And for me, when I do it, I always do corners and edges first, and then I do everything else. I've also never really timed myself when I do puzzles. I've seen that competitive puzzling is definitely a thing. Even though I love puzzles, I've never really thought of competitive puzzling just because I don't really like having the clock waiting for me there. There we go. Hi, Mel. It's been a while. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, Perinko. That's so cute. What kind of puzzles did your sister like? There are so many kinds now from like this kind. I saw some really cool ones I would love to do on stream if this works out. I'm gonna need to find gloves that like let me pick up puzzle pieces though. You see, I don't like these. My favorite, my least favorite kind of puzzles is if puzzle pieces fit when they're not supposed to. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is actually a puzzle from the official Pokemon company and I was actually super impressed by the quality when it came in. I wasn't too sure just because the Pokemon Center doesn't do a lot of puzzles. But it actually turned out really nice. Like I was really impressed when it came in. Okay, that does fit. It just doesn't look like it fits. Does it fit? It does not fit, okay. See, I like it when pieces don't fit where they're not supposed to. It's just, it's a pet peeve of mine. I had a puzzle I really enjoyed and wanted, was looking forward to doing, but because the pieces all fit where they weren't supposed to, and it was a gradient puzzle, which for you guys don't know, it's really hard to, it's really hard to differentiate with gradients. Like that's part of the fun and part of the challenge. But if the pieces are fitting where they're not supposed to, it just, it takes away from the experience in my, in my opinion. Yeah, I totally agree, Bounce. That's why I prefer just like chilling with puzzles. But I definitely see like, it's so cool to watch them work together and also just like do puzzles so quickly. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. All puzzles are valid. They're, I don't think, for me, a lot of the pick puzzles I do are just because I like the images, you know? Like there are cool puzzles out there, but sometimes it's just nice to like work towards building an image you like and are looking forward to. I mean, it's also really nice as an activity that doesn't have to be on the computer, you know? <laughs> no, 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 I love puzzles. What do you mean? Although I did get a puzzle and I was so looking forward to it. I love the design so much. And all the pieces stuck together. Like literally they just weren't cut properly. And I was really disappointed because it was a really reputable puzzle company. And it just, and when I tried to take them apart, sometimes, you know, cutting happens because it is paper, cardboard. Some of the puzzles, they do stick, you know, it's not easy. But what was really frustrating was when I tried to separate the pieces, they just, they ripped. That's probably the worst thing to happen. <sighs> I'm probably going to be taking pieces off screen a lot just because in order to like actually put them together. So don't mind. Ooh, 300 pieces. Yeah, I like short. I like short puzzles for like quick burst. I have a couple of them. I actually had a stream idea where I would see how many 300 piece puzzles I could do in one stream. <laughs> Sometimes the pieces are like sticking to my gloves. But hello, welcome. Yeah, like, okay. Sometimes you get what, for me, one thing is if you guys can't tell, I don't know if you guys can see. You see how thick this is? This is good. Because that means that when I try to separate the pieces, it does not immediately rip the picture. And sometimes if like the cardboard separates a little bit, you can still press it back into position and it looks just fine. But when like the whole thing rips, it just instantly makes me not want to do the puzzle. It just, I'm on the, I'm still contemplating if I should just donate that puzzle, but it feels like a waste because I haven't done it yet. But it's just, it's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating. I actually, uh, this is, hmm, I had considered doing puzzle reviews before, like becoming a puzzle channel, 
the only reason I did not do it was because editing is a lot. It's a lot. And as you guys can tell with my current endeavors to try to like edit my own streams. And that takes me quite a, quite a while. So like trying to imagine me having like hours and hours and hours of puzzle footage. It's a lot. So if I if like if this is successful, I'm going to be doing more puzzles on stream. <laughs> And it's just, it's easier to like talk to you guys about it too. No, 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 no. It was very close smell. This is Eevee. This is Eevee. And it's because of the two corner pieces that I'm starting with this. I usually start with the corner pieces and then work around. Or sometimes if I'm like, you know, feeling a little crazy, I'll just do whichever color catches my eye. But I always, always leave blue for last. Yep, you heard me. I, no matter what puzzle I'm doing, I will probably leave blue for last. And also, I'm like of the opinion that if you enjoy doing puzzles, it doesn't matter like how fast you do them. That's the whole point. Like you can just do something chill, have fun with it. I've seen so many Mm, I don't actually I don't want to bring it up, but the speed you do it does not matter unless you're like competing in a competition. Then you're you know you're asking for it yourself. But yeah, this puzzle is one of the what's it called? The Pokemon Center released a whole series of puzzles, and as soon as I saw this Evolution one, I was like, yes, this is it. This is what I want. And then I ordered it. I ordered this one and one more that I have not, I didn't put up as an option. Okay, so this one's clearly at the top. Ugh. Don't know why. Well, actually I do know why. The pieces are sticking to my gloves. But I ordered this one and one more, which is really cool. It's the original 150 Pokemon as Pixel. So it's like, I don't know if you guys remember, but they used to do these all the Pokemon charts. Like they had this poster with all the Pokemon. I feel like I something went wrong here. Oh, I see it, I see it. I take that back. Pieces did fit where they weren't supposed to. But 150 Pokemon. See, I knew this wasn't supposed to be this hard. Ta-da! And then this is probably supposed to be down here somewhere. I probably put another piece wrong. Man, see, this is why I don't like it when pieces fit where they're not supposed to, because now I have to go through and look at every single one. Do you think? No, I think I'm going to get it done in one sitting. That's why I, oh, Mel, you didn't see. I split up every single, I have pre-organized all the pieces. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it all in one sitting. Hmm. Is there any that I feel are out of place? Huh. Actually, no. Which is very weird because this is supposed to be pretty even. And I don't, I don't have any of the other ones missing. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just going to complete it. Man, I was really hoping this would be one of those puzzles. I don't know if you guys know there's a brand out there that makes every single piece cut unique. So you never, never put a piece where it's not supposed to. I should have started out with them. You know, the glove handicap and all. No, darn it. I was going to use the catching to do it. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do this in one sitting. It's not like a hard puzzle. I think this one's probably a lot easier than, for example, the 1000 piece ones I put up. Yeah, I pre-organized. I had this all set up. I like have it on different trays. That clearly does not fit. Nope. Oh, this one. Like that, yes. Not that one. This goes there. 
ready. Almost. Okay, so this one goes up here. This one I'm gonna be more careful about. Let's see. Oh, wait. Um, yeah. Then this one goes... I don't really have like tips when it comes to puzzles. I've always been uh, put pieces where you think fit and then if they fit, great. If they don't, just try again. <laughs> I've seen people have like strategies and tips and I was like, interesting. I'm just a try as I go person. Ooh. I'm trying to find the piece that goes up here because I don't want to repeat this. I, I did not realize that you guys could not see the whole puzzle, but I'm like missing a piece. And that's like clearly because of me, because I'm like a distance from the puzzle. So I cannot see okay nope i'm trying to be careful because normally i would lean into the puzzle definitely don't want to do that this time Okay, then that does not go there. Mm. Oh my gosh. Um, actually, you know what? I should have did this. This is my habit. Sometimes I'll just get enraptured in the puzzle and I'll be like, hey, I can make this easier. Just push out anything that is not relevant off to the side. Believe it or not, this does make it a whole heck of a lot easier. Also, tell me if I'm like doing too much off screen. It's definitely not on purpose. It's just like I'm not used to figuring out how much is there. Are the gloves really sticky? Um, they're not sticky. It's just that because this is cardboard, it's like hang clinging onto the fibers of my glove, but it's not sticky. How many pieces is the biggest puzzle I've ever finished? Probably 1,500. I have, I actually have a really, really cool 3,000 piece puzzle. I would love to do on stream if I could figure out uh, something that would be large enough for me to do it on. Like, I just need a surface large enough to accommodate 3,000 pieces and I would love to do it. But my, the most I've done at this time is a thousand piece, just because of space constraints. And I have seen people do it on the floor. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't. As much as I would love to, it would just be too much of a bother to, um, to the people I live with. To my family, I should just say that it would, it would bother them. I would take up too much space. Not that they would mind too much, but I would feel really bad for making them like have to put up with it. But I have considered, like, I would love to do it. I have it. <laughs> okay, so I I went back to this piece. Oh my goodness, let me, let me just look. This does not fit. What the heck? I did not... I think I'm going crazy. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Just because... You see this... This one is like, oh, I see. You know what? I'm not crazy. I just needed one more piece in between them. And actually, maybe this one will fit in the frame. Maybe I got multiple pieces wrong. Damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, you live and you learn. It's fine. So this one goes like this. And also, if you do want a tip, just looking at the pieces you've already put together, I know that it has to be this piece. Because of the way that the... I don't know what they're called. The ears? The tail? I'm not losing it. It's just as hard, definitely, when, like... Okay, maybe I'm losing it a little bit. Maybe, it's like, denying it would make me sound, like, more like I'm not losing it. But that's fine. Funny thing is, I was like, I love puzzles. I do them all the time. And then I, like, immediately come on here and I, like, get this part wrong. 
And I've seen some people argue that when you have like designs like this, where it's just one color block, it makes it, it's harder because the colors are so similar. But personally, I, I just enjoy it. I think it's more satisfying to put these kind of puzzles together. Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay, this time I think I got it right because these two are even. <laughs> it worked. Nope, this one, because there's that's too short, so it has to be this one. It's really just process of elimination once you get to a certain point. Nope. Ehe. <laughs> In only 20 minutes. I mean, hey, it was better than my Fall Guys run. <laughs> Ooh, by the way, let me know if the audio is okay because I'm I'm testing out a new I'm testing out a new position with my mic, and I'm definitely moving a lot more. So just let me know how it sounds or if I like should adjust it. This is how I thought it would go. And then last one for pink. And huzzah! If I can only pick it up. No! You guys see that? Okay. This is, this is what I mean. It's okay, it's okay. It can't break my spirit. There we go. Ha! My gloves are like the biggest handicap I have. Because I'll finish it, move my hand away a little too quickly, and it will just tear the puzzle apart. Okay. And that's one side. Wait. Are they? They're literally the same height. Oh, wait. I don't understand. <laughs> Did I miss pieces? Maybe I missed piece. Maybe I missed edge pieces when I was, like, separating them. I don't- I didn't think so, but... I mean, apparently I did. I might have missed pieces. Maybe I'm not crazy and I'm just missing pieces because you can see. I don't know if you guys can see. Wait. Aha. I don't know if you guys can see, but these are... Let me just push this in. These are the same length, which means I'm not... I wasn't doing it wrong. It's just probably I missed pieces as I was separating them. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know, you guys. I appreciate it about the audio. <laughs> no! Okay, good, good, good. I was doubting my puzzle skills, you know, my puzzling experience, which is, uh, if not to toot my own horn, but it's a couple decades. It's a couple decades. I have, I have pictures that I cannot show. <laughs> okay, so how does this work? This, this. I'm clearly missing a, oh, no, I have it here. You see this one? This is brown. This is yellow, which is the next one. So it has to go like this. This one is a bit different. I can tell from the edge of this that this starts. This is the middle. Then this is next. So that this can go up here. Ta-da! I didn't realize you couldn't see any of that. Here you go. This is yellow. Or this is blue, which is Vaporeon. So we got Eevee, Vaporeon, and now we're gonna do Jolteon. I think doing it by like the Eevee Evolution just makes it really easy to visualize. So clearly, after Jolteon is Flareon. Who is your favorite Eevee Evolution? Go ahead and put it in chat. Mine is Vaporeon. I just don't look up. I just don't look it up on Google. But Vaporeon is my favorite. Although I am also really biased towards Espeon and Umbreon because I really love playing Pokemon Coliseum growing up. So they were like my favorite duo. That doesn't work. I think it was the other way around. There we go. Okay, that's gonna happen a lot. Ta da! Leafeon? Yeah! Umbreon, Sylveon, and Jolteon! Yeah, the best thing about this puzzle, it has all the favorites, you know? All the favorites. Okay, I'll keep this one there. And then this can go up here, because I'm missing a piece anyways. 
500 pieces yeah like but i did split it up beforehand and i did make sure to do it off stream so i could like focus but i guess like i'll still miss it because i technically was rushing <laughs> okay Ta -da. okay next is flareon Speaking of Pokemon, I have not played Teal Mask. I have seen it. I hear it's... Oh! I found it. I found it. It was over here. It was like this. It was hiding from me. Okay, so this goes here. I did not miss it in the sorting. I just missed it when I was trying to grab pieces. Ta-da! Okay, we're good. We're good. Now we go back up here so we can go... Nope, that, not that one. But speaking of Teal Mask, I saw I love the new Pokemon. I might get the game, the new DLC just for her. I don't normally do DLC content, but for her, I might. I don't know her name. Ogre? Wait, Ogre? Ogre Pawn? Ogre Pawn? I think that's her name. She looks adorable. Yeah, Vanta's been playing it. That's right. That's actually why I was like, oh, it came out. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> but it looks fun. It looks fun. Yeah, the pieces. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you, my handy... This is like my handicap. This is how I make the 500 pieces a lot more difficult to do. Is like the s how it clings to my gloves. Okay, now we're doing Espeon. I love the order in which they've put the Pokemon in because it's Eevee. The three first edition, and then I'm guessing because this is Espeon, it's going to be Espeon Umbreon, and then Leafeon Jolteon. And for anyone asking, it's like, why don't you look at the box? I don't look at boxes when I do puzzles, unless I really need to, like I get super stuck. But usually I just like putting together the puzzle <laughs> and then seeing like if I'm successful or not. In uh, not to toot my own horn, usually... I think that you're supposed to be able to figure out the puzzle as you do it. But no no shade to anyone who does use the box. It makes it infinitely easier. I definitely do it for like more complicated puzzles. But for like really straightforward ones like this, I'm like, eh, it's fine. I'll be able to figure it out. The edges, the color blocking, pretty straightforward, I hope. <laughs> okay, so each one. Oh, really? I I have to listen back to see how I sounded. Oh my goodness, vulgar. Oh, I see. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, that's valid too. I have seen... I don't know if you guys have seen it. Recently on Twitter, all I've been seeing is the... The poor Luxray skins incident. I don't know if that's just people trolling or not. But it's... If that is like a real glitch, that really sucks. Like, that really sucks that, like, Luxray has been affected. It's my- Luxray is one of my favorite Pokemon. So to see, like, such a severe skin glitch for it really is upsetting. It's like where the shiny Luxray is getting less shiny or, like, people are getting random others. I really hope it's just trolling. Because in my opinion, that's a really severe glitch. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, I have all the pieces together. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's just, like, sticking to my gloves. It's like, no! Umbreon won't let go! Umbreon used cling! It was effective! Whoops. I should not cling to that. My philosophy when it comes to puzzle pieces, though, is if there's any resistance, it's not supposed to go there. There shouldn't be any resistance. Unless it's a plastic puzzle, those are a different story. I've done quite a few of those. Okay, I was like, L <laughs> no, stop, I'm begging you, stop, stop disconnecting. Okay, we're almost done. Now we're doing Leafeon and then it'll be Glaceon. Leafeon and Glaceon were really hard for me to separate, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. Let me show you the two piece colors. So can you tell which one's Leafeon and Glaceon? I think it's easier to tell because I've like adjusted my camera settings. But when I was trying to separate them in like the daytime, it was not easy to tell the difference. I had to like bring it super close and be like, is this, uh, is this Glaceon or is this Leafeon? That was what I was doing when I was like separating them. 
Okay, almost done. And then I can get started on the other colors. Yeah, you're right. It, it definitely, I could tell when I was looking on like the screen, the contrast definitely helps, but you were right, Mel. 10 points, whoops. 10 points to Leafeon, Umbreon, and Espeon. Oh, you know, I was never a Harry Potter fan just because I wasn't super interested. But if there was ever like a house differentiation, like if you could separate people by like a characteristic, for me, it would be Eevee Evolutions, you know? I just think that would like make so much sense. <laughs> Black! Today, I'm gonna call this the flying puzzle. Okay, okay, last, almost last piece. Hold on. It's just, it, it's sticking. Okay, now let me try to get this in view. This is the last edge piece. It's not co-op. Okay, ta da da da. This is, this is how it looks. Um, three, three. I'm hoping it's even. It does not look even right now. I might find out that I did something wrong. I don't think so. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't think so. Oh, the Eevees. But huzzah, yes. This is what I mean, Mel, but I've like split them up by color. But yes, we have done all the edges. Now we do the rest. Now I like to find something to like start me off. For example, I can see all these pieces are blue, so I'm gonna try to connect them. Earth. Try is the keyword here, cause I think there's only these five. Oh, there is this one here. This one kind of has blue, it's very subtle. So what I can... <laughs> I should do like magic tricks with this. So this definitely goes there. That's an ear. This does not go anywhere yet. This probably goes... Nope. Maybe it goes the other way. Maybe it goes... Nope. I think... I wish I could pick these up a lot easier than I can already. Mm, that does not go there. Sometimes the blue is really subtle, so that does make it a challenge, but... Should be able to figure it out. Mm, I think that's all the blue. Oh, nope, this one. This one, I'm pretty sure goes there. So we got that. If I get another piece stuck to my hand, I'm just gonna make it float and be like, Ooh, look at that. I'm not doing anything. I'm not holding on to it and it won't let me go. Nope. What's really cool about... Oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe the box will show it. Or actually, I put everything on top of the box. But they're like really subtle hearts. They're really subtle hearts in the patterns, which makes it super cute. And that's also what I'm using as part of my guide to like figure out where, what goes where. Mm, da, 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 da. This is going on the edge, so it's gonna go here. I'm guessing this one. This one's not quite enough. Might be this one though. Yep. So that goes there. Then this one goes not there. Because it's not long enough. Er, her. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, damn, you're not gonna use me? Oops. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I can see. I can probably also work on Evie's face. Because that's pretty distinctive as well. Oh, there's a blue. And that definitely goes there. I'm guessing, because you can kind of see Evie's outline here. Can you guys see it? You guys can't see it. Okay, great. So this goes there. This probably goes there. 
this. If I can pick it up, it goes there. And then this piece, uh, somewhere later. But this probably goes. Oof. All right. Mm. No, I'm not gonna put that yet because I don't have a concrete idea where it goes, but I can do more face pieces. When it comes to like puzzles, I keep saying I don't have tips, but all I can really think to talk about at this time is like how I do puzzles, which is just find things that you think you can put together, like faces or things that are like really easy to visualize and piece together. And if you ever get stuck on something, sometimes you do. Like sometimes you're like, I cannot find this piece. It's driving me crazy. Just move on to another section. Sometimes it's like, oh, I really want to do it like aesthetically. And I've tried that. I've done that as a challenge. I've tried to finish like row by row. It's not worth your sanity. <laughs> it's not worth your sanity. Like I think there are definitely puzzles you can do that with, but eh, I, as someone who's done it, it wasn't worth my sanity. Let's see. Oh, nope. Hmm. This is very distinctive. I'm trying to find this heart piece. Um, no. No. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't want to come with me, you know? It's like, eh. Eh. Like, please, please, I'm just trying to put you where you belong. Mm, nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I recommend it if, <laughs> I don't know if I recommend doing a puzzle with gloves. They are, they're just like, they're really upset that I'm using gloves to put the, to put the puzzle together. It's completely, it's a rebellion, it's a rebellion. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Interesting how some of these pieces have blue and then some of these don't. But you know what would be another really good hint? You see this? You see this? I think that's part of the edge. So that's a big hint. Nope. That does... Does that go there? When you doubt if something goes there, it probably does not. Words of wisdom. Man. Okay. You know, when I do 500 piece puzzles, I've like, I know that you can't do them super quick, but they do not take me long. And I think part of me using gloves to do this will make the stream probably like my typical length when it comes to a stream. It's probably gonna take me three hours just because of the gloves. All right, all right. What's, it's not important how long it took me to pick up the piece. What's important is I was able to do it. Yep, I think that's right. If I like, I don't know if, if there would be ever be a challenge, but if there is a challenge to be like, um, how do I explain this? Ooh, I just kicked my light. I hope that didn't affect the stream. But if there was ever a challenge where you had to like do puzzles in character and you had to be like very dainty and pick them up like this, I can just imagine, I can just imagine how, uh, how difficult it would be to stay in character while trying to like do puzzles in gloves. Oh my God. Like if... I'm really impressed now. I saw a couple of people who have done puzzle streams, like Reimu, like Anna, and I'm super impressed that they were like able to keep their cool. I don't know if any of them had as much trouble as I do right now, but you know. Okay. Ta-da. I also saw Reimu try to challenge a Van Gogh puzzle. Oh my God, doing it like live that's a puzzle i would not do on stream just because it would definitely take a lot of patience and a lot of trial and error personally so really really commendable 
But you know, I like puzzles. I think they're a really cool and chill activity you can do. Oh, you can see it. You already have the Eevee winking at you guys. That's so cute. I was so focused on putting it together, I didn't realize you could already see the whole Eevee. Okay, this goes there. You know, the thing about the edges is before I could like take the pieces, slide them off the table and then put them in. But now because I've completed the edges, I cannot do that. So this is, this is going to be interesting. Okay. You guys are just going to get a lot of me like grasping for pieces. Ta -da! Okay, we've done Eevee. Now this would be like a semi-satisfying, I guess, completion because I'm doing it in order. Vaporeon's next. Hey! And I already kind of split up Vaporeon based on like, I could see that it has Jyoti on some edges. I did not split up the Eevee pieces. I should have. Oh my gosh. You know, I should have gotten tweezers. Tweezers just to like, pick these pieces up. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I think this can only go there. So Eve, the Porions, it does not go there. Does it go here? It does. This goes there. Okay. Now. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite episodes from the Pokemon, the series, like the show, was definitely the Eevee one, where like everyone's trying to peer pressure the Eevee into being the evolution that they want it to be. And Eevee's like, I just want to be an Eevee. It's very cute. And also the scene where like Eevee's literally holding a cup in its paw. Oh my god, I don't know why. I never imagined a Pokemon with that like walked on four legs, holding a cup with its paw. Like for Scyther, I also don't know how it would hold a cup. But for some reason, seeing Eevee hold a cup is just... It feels weird. It just felt really weird as a kid. And it still does. It still does. I saw it recently resurface as like... I guess, uh, kind of, not a meme, but it just did resurface as like pictures. And I was like, yep, still as weird as I remember it being. Yeah, I was gonna do blue for last, but I thought about it and I was like, satisfying, you know? Normally, I would leave the blue for last, but my brain also went like, why not do them in order? <laughs> so just for you guys, for you guys, I did not do it the way I normally do. And like, I've done a lot of puzzles where I've like, the whole puzzle was blue. <laughs> and I still left the blue for last. Actually, I should show you guys that one. That was a really, really cool puzzle. The one uh, that's mostly blue. I love that one a lot. It's really, it's not easy. I don't think I'll do it on stream, but maybe I'll like post it in community so you guys can see it. It's a very cool puzzle. <gasps> yeah, you know, I if I have to be known for anything, I'm not against being known for like blue. <laughs> It's something I've thought about a lot, like... Blue. <laughs> Ooh, Vaporeon's a lot easier. Again, see? Blue effect. Mmm... ta -da. And this goes... Probably there. And then this goes... Over here. I've also like thought a lot, a lot of the time when I'm trying to do like overlays and things, I have like, I should do other colors and I'm like blue. And if I could, believe me, like you guys know how I've been differentiating my thumbnails with borders, right? I have contemplated really using nothing but blue borders. And the only reason I didn't do it is because I am not sophisticated enough with my color palettes to be able to find like blue, enough blues that you could actually differentiate. <laughs> 
Like, even for me, I was like, dang, I got to use other colors. It can't just be blue. Okay, but no, really, like, I'm not even kidding, because if I'm buying something and it's in the color blue, I'm just more likely to pick the blue option. It's just really how I am. It's something that, like, baffles my family. They're like, why? Yeah, yeah, I don't even need to think about it. I'm just like, yeah, it's always been blue. And it's also, it's like... Yeah, like I looked at my closet the other day and it's just like 95% of it is blue. I'm not even joking. I like went and counted and I do have other colors. Like I wear other colors, but 95% of them are blue. Actually, I should see my 95% of the dresses I get are blue. Okay, almost done. Oh, I'm missing a yellow. Must be this one. Yeah, I did, I did that on purpose because uh, I got a custom, I did buy a custom chat from Chroneco for YouTube. And I was like, what color should I make my own messages? Yeah, it has to be blue. It's just, if it's, if you know that meme or not the meme, but like in a situation where someone hacked my account, if someone's like, oh, I hate the color blue or like, I love the color pink, then you guys know it's not me. I've been hacked. They're like, no way. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> This is an eye. This is an eye. I was looking and I was like, I thought it was the gills, but it's the gill and the eye. Are all of them winking? That is so cute. No, 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 no. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So that's this gill. This is the little paw. Oh my goodness. It's like a little paw. Can I, I let me see if I, how close I can bring this. It's like a little paw. Is, is that a little paw? Is that not adorable? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, that's actually a really funny story, Mel. And I like it makes me happy, but also like it makes me want to laugh that you caught on so quick. So I discovered VTubers because a friend of mine was drawing fan art. And I was like, oh my gosh, these characters are really cute. And I <laughs> when I saw all the characters that my friend was drawing, which by the way was Luxium, I was only interested in Ike because he was blue. And I was like, oh my goodness, I really like his design and he's blue. So I uh, did not become a young minion <laughs> until I started watching the streams. But before that, I always say that Ike is the very first VTuber and the VTuber that got me into VTubers uh, because he's blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, it's just, it's, I cannot, I don't know why I'm like this. Is that's what I said. Like, if something is blue, I'm just more likely to be interested or like it to for it to catch my eye. I do get other things. I do like other colors. You know, it's not like I can only wear blue. But if I like get introduced to something, it's yeah, it's blue. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I can't believe I didn't even need to tell the story and you guys are like, yeah, this is probably why, like, she watched why Ike was her first VTuber. Dang. I guess I'm just, like, predictable. But that's okay. That's okay, you know? Like, like I said, if I have to be known for anything, I don't mind being known for the person who likes blue. It's just how I am. It is a characteristic. Yeah, it really is. I'm not even joking. I was like... Yeah, green perinkle. Oh my goodness. Green is a great color. Sometimes I want to have more things in green because it's such a calming color and it's so soft on your eyes. But yeah, it's really interesting how like we can get so caught or we can be so focused on like one color, isn't it? Okay, that goes there. Yep, that fits better. I also like cannot explain it, but sometimes when I put in puzzle pieces, I'm just like, this just does not feel right. Or this, this is, this is where it's supposed to go. 
that's what, you know, decades of puzzling experience does to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, see? Yeah. The thing is, when, like, when you do change colors, it's just so jarring, isn't it? Like, especially, like, I'm sure your friend said it jokingly, but it's also just, like, huh, I don't know if, like, I should be concerned or not, like... But sometimes it just happens. For me, it's always been blue. But that's why I said, like, if I ever, like, post on Twitter or, like, in my community posts, then I'd be like, ah, oh, I don't like the color blue anymore, you guys. I've been hacked. I've just been hacked. I've been kidnapped, okay? Ta-da! We got Vaporeon! Also, it's adorable how Eevee has hearts and then Vaporeon has, like, little water droplets. I thought they were all hearts, so that's really cool. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. next. Huzzah. Okay, this time it's a little trickier because Jotion actually does not have distinctive colors. Not tricky, I guess. Like, it's been pretty straightforward so far, but we're gonna start with Jotion first. Like, his Jotion's face. Now, I don't know why, when I was young, I always just assumed that Jotion would, like, have, like, its fur would hurt. And I think it's because, like, when we see it, we Im immediately imagine it's, like, spiky. But it wasn't until I saw the Pokemon episode where, like, the trainer is petting Jotion. I'm like, oh, it can be soft, too. Like, for some reason in my mind, it was just spikes. Like, no way could you, like, pet it. It's, like, a forbidden, uh, forbidden, what is it called? It's, like, if not friend, why friend shape kind of thing. And I was, like, so sad. I was, like, oh, my goodness. But as soon as I saw, like, the Pokemon trainer, like, petting its Jotion, I'm, like, ah! Oh, ah! I, too, want to pet the spiky, the porcupine electric hedgehog. It would be so cute. Yeah! They are soft. This trainer can pet it. And I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, isn't it? I love this design. As soon as I got it, saw it, I was like, I want it. This is like, I placed an order right away. Oh, not right away. There was one more puzzle design I wanted, but it was sold out when I ordered, which is unfortunate. It was the really cool, uh, what is it? The wave Pokemon design. That one was super popular. It was sold out like right away. Hmm, where does Jotian's eye go? Oh! Arr! That hasn't happened in a while. Attacked by your puzzle. Wait, does that go there? That does. I think. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just good to experiment too. Like, for me, I've always just known I liked blue, but... I think there's like something really cool about trying a bunch of things and sometimes, you know, you never know if you like something until you try it. Ooh, purple? Mel, that's really cool. Purple is such a cool color. I'm not gonna lie, like, ever since I've become a Yaminion, I've just looked at purple differently. And I definitely pay, like, more, have more interest in it now. <gasps> oh my goodness! Jotion, look! It's winking! Not all of them are winking because I saw Vaporeon wasn't winking, but Jolteon is winking. Oh my goodness, adorable. Adorable, I love it. Okay, we've done the easy part. Now comes the slightly more challenging part. Slightly. Let's see. I'm gonna start up here. Yep. Because this one had the little edge. This one too, this has a little edge. Um, nope. And this one. Yep, yeah, there. I don't know if you can see it. Down there. Yeah, you can still see it. <laughs> Alright. Now, here's the thing about my setup. One thing I've considered is, like, you guys can't see everything. And I want to do, like, bigger puzzles. So I'm really gonna have to figure out how to, like, show more of the table. Or you guys just see less as I build. Which is kind of, like, <laughs> it's kind of sad. Like, you guys want to see the puzzle. 
So I'm going to like have to experiment and work a bit more of my layout to eventually, hopefully, show you guys some really cool puzzles. Like I said, I really want to do the 3000 one on stream. I don't know how many streams it will take to finish, but I think it'd be so much fun to do like the big puzzle on stream. Hi, Lily, welcome. No worries. I'm glad you can make it. Yeah, this school season, I get it. But I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Hope like you're doing okay. Taking it easy. I know you can do it. School can be tough. Hold on. Ugh. The pieces. Yeah, the purple boys. That's that's fair. That's fair. Although your favorite is Ike, isn't it, Mel? So even though your favorite color is purple, Ike, his uh, power still prevails, <laughs> which is fair, which is fair. Yeah, that's so good to hear. I'm glad. Means like, can't believe it's already almost the end of September. Can you guys believe that? Like time just went. All right, I think. Nope. Nope. Okay. We got the easy part. Okay. That might not have been the smart thing because now I have all the pieces in my hands, but we'll see if this works better because then I don't have to like try to pick them up, you know? Oh my gosh. 3000 is tough. I've never done a puzzle that big, but I'm excited. I love it. It's Charlie Brown, by the way. It's uh, it's so, so cool. It's basically like, it has all the Charlie Brown characters and then there's comics in the background and it's definitely going to be a tough puzzle, but I just, I love the design so much. Oh, nope. Er, sticky, sticky, sticky. What happens when the pieces just don't want to let go? Yeah, oh my god. It really feels like that way, isn't it? Time is just... what the heck. But I did see Kyo's girl spurt. What the heck? I, I retweeted a couple of things. I don't know if you guys saw. You don't need to. You don't need to look for it. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I totally didn't tweet anything. Yet. Uh, but yeah, like it's crazy. That's crazy. I can't believe he's taller than pretty much every all the guys in EN. Is that not? How does that make sense? Like now we know why the Niji audition forms ask you for your height. Can you imagine if everyone had like a glow up, went through puberty, like Kyo? Oh my god. The chaos. The chaos. But I do love, I saw Shu in like Kyo's chat and he was like, hey, 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 this isn't fair. <laughs> oh, poor Shu. He can like, do... <laughs> I was going to say he could curse him, but I don't think he'd curse Kyo just for being taller. But maybe he would want to curse himself to be taller. I don't know, like Alice in the Wonderland, drink the potion. Just a, just a little bit, just a little bit. Gravity powers too. Oh my god, yeah. I think his height should have been his only superpower. I'm just saying. Like, that's a superpower in itself. Self. Mm, I feel like this should be really straightforward at this point. Okay, like this. Like... No... It's not like that. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Burp. And sorry if I'm reading the chats though, it's not because I don't want to, but it's because I'm literally... <laughs> it's because I have to like turn my head every time I want to look at chat. Did I do something wrong? Why does this not fit? Oh, like that, okay. Hey, wait, I was right. We're missing one line. Oh my god. No, I did see that. I'm gonna watch it get Perinko. I will, though. 
But he came out with all the receipts, didn't he? Flareon. Melatonin! Yes, you're right, Lily. Okay, so here's the thing about me and rhythm games. I'm not good at them. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny for you guys to see, like, just uh, how much I struggle on stream. I thought I bought melatonin during the Nintendo Summer Sale event. Apparently, I did not. And I didn't realize it until the sale was over. I was like, oh no. So yeah, if I like... I definitely want to do a melatonin stream in the future because I just think it'd be funny for you guys to see how... <laughs> How much I struggle. I don't know, is that content? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just never been my forte. I do like them, though. I think they're very fun. And I do love watching uh, Enna's melatonin streams. Like, she's so good. Her rhythm, holy shoot, her and Ike. They were so fun to watch, and it made me really want to try it, too. Ooh, okay, Lily, definitely let me know. It, I like, it looks really fun, but rhythm games are like that. They're deceptive, you know? Okay, Hex is just coping, okay? Like, he's just in denial. Like, he's like, damn, we're losing in, like... If it wasn't all for Dopio, XLA would be, like... <laughs> XLA wouldn't be able to even, like, look at... Luna in the eye. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yes, oh my god, I did watch that. I watched your clip about uh, Shu doing logarithms. I was like, why is that so Shu? And it just, it makes sense. You know, anyone else doing logs, I would be like, eh, I can't really trust that. But Shu doing logarithms on stream, I'm like, why is that so on brand? Why is that his brand? It's also so cute that he like couldn't get it out of his mind. He was like, you know what, I'm gonna stop the game temporarily in order to like do this problem. It's just so cute. It's so cute. It's why like even though even though he's not blue, shoot Yamino defied all my odds and became my Kami Oshi, even though he's not blue. Okay. Couple more pieces and then Jotion is finished. Okay, last one. <gasps> Cute! Look at that! Wink, no wink, and wink. Okay, guesses for Flareon. Is Flareon gonna be winking or not winking? You guys can make your guesses in chat now. Yep, I said this was gonna go pretty fast. Like, I honestly did not think this would take me very long. Because it's pretty straightforward. The best thing about color blocking is it does make it a lot easier. Especially distinctive colors like this. I have color block puzzles that are definitely going to take me longer because they're not neatly in order. They're like color blocks, but they're kind of like all connected as well. I'll show you guys. I have some really, really cool puzzles I love that I've done like just in my own time. And they definitely would take me longer just because it's not neat like this. But this is why I chose this to be like my first puzzle that I do on stream. <laughs> this was planned. Oh, according to Keikaku. Blinking, blinking? Wait, blinking? How about winking? <laughs> okay, we have our answer. Not blinking! You can see both of her their eyes. I, I can't say if it's a girl or a guy. Good try, good try. It's okay, you guys. Maybe you'll guess right in the next one. Maybe for Espeon, you know? Okay. Cannot pick up any pieces. Yep. Oh, okay. So I just saw and like half of you guys were right. So kudos to you guys. Yes, yes. Flareon is in fact not winking. Which was unfortunate. It'd be really cute. But Jolteon, oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's so cute. Like, you can see Eevee has, like, a little tongue. I don't know if you guys can. I'll probably, like, try to bring it closer. Because one thing I'm curious about... One thing I really love about puzzles is that even... Even for something like puzzles, there are cultural differences. And what I mean by that is... 
if you look at Japanese puzzles compared to like Western puzzles, a trend in Western puzzles, like not lately, but since the pandemic, I guess, are puzzles that you can pick up as a whole piece and they stay together, like relatively stay together. It's so chaotic. I love it. And I do have puzzles that I've tried that with. But in Japanese puzzles, they definitely are not meant to like be picked up because Japanese puzzles, most of the ones I've gotten all come with glue. And the glue is meant for you to like glue your puzzle together to display. So it's definitely really cool to see like these kind of differences when you're doing the puzzles. All right, have fun, Lily. Um, for me, I don't want to say if I like one puzzle kind of puzzle more or not, but I find that Japanese puzzles have cuter images than Western puzzles, which, you know, is to be expected. I'm a VTuber. You know what my aesthetic is. But I do like... Mm, the color blocking, because a lot of, uh, maybe it's just me, but a lot of the character puzzles, I would pick Japanese puzzles for general artwork puzzles. I would actually probably pick Western puzzles just because I like the modernism color blocking. And that's what I find mostly in Western puzzles. Ta-da! It's partial Flareon! All right. Now, we've already gotten a bit of the SB online here, so that should be pretty, pretty fist. Mm, flame. Flame of your, flame of your heart. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I think of a fire Pokemon, the first Pokemon I always think of is Vulpix. And that is again because like I grew up watching like the Pokemon show. Yeah, picking it up is really cool. Like I've seen a lot of content for puzzles where you can pick up the whole puzzle and it's definitely fun, but sometimes when it doesn't quite go the way you want, it is devastating to watch all of your hard work, you know, fall. But it's really cool when there are puzzles you can pick up. Maybe I'll do like a stream where I pick up one of my puzzles or maybe I'll show you guys like in a short or something. Because there are definitely puzzles who are meant to be picked up. Meant. And that's what I mean by like, it's become a thing. It wasn't a thing before, I think, as much, but now it is. But as I was saying about like fire Pokemon, I always think of Vulpix. And it's because of that one episode where Vulpix is like... It's at a Pokemon salon and it's really chill. But as soon as like Brock tries to come near the Vulpix... It's like instantly blasting flamethrower in its face. And it's also because of the episode that I thought fire spin was supposed to be a really strong move. Supposed to be like mega strong. Did you not see fire spin in that episode where it basically sends a fire tornado, takes Team Rocket, blasts them off, and then you get fire, like, fire spin in the game and it's nothing like that? Deceptive marketing. Oh, blue's your second favorite? Fair. Fair. Flare and Leafeon and Glaceon. I want to also, if the, uh, I would also add Espeon to that list, Bows, just because, like, I don't know how they went from purple to green. <laughs> like, okay, arguably, arguably, Espeon has one of the easiest distinguished shinies you know, bright lime green. But it also just color wise, it was not satisfying. <laughs> like definitely it's easy, like compared to the ones that are barely distinguishable, I agree. But I mean, I mean, like, please, how'd you go from like purple to bright green? Bright green. I th still think it's a crime. I still think it's a crime. And nope, probably, I still keep wanting to put it up here, but it does not look like it fits. Did I do another piece wrong? Or maybe it does go there and I'm just crazy. No, it does not fit, does it? Maybe it does. I 
I feel like it's been going pretty smoothly. So when I was like, does it go there? Kinda, kinda. Um, I think it's this one. Or uh, no, that hasn't happened in a while. The gloves were rebelling against me. It's like, you're going too fast, slow down. And I'm like, no, let me finish this puzzle. Um, okay, you know what? That's fair. Some of the yellows are, they're, they're, they're kind of, you know, like, there's a reason the only shinies I'm interested in getting are blue. <laughs> I mean, not just because I'm obsessed with blue, but, uh, aesthetically, they just, they look better. <laughs> hmm. No. Oh. Ta-da! <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. So, uh, Shui Amino is the exception. He's the only one that can pull off purple to green. Like, it, like, Hikarino pulls it off so well. I'm talking about going from, like... Actually, you know what? That's valid. I take back what I said about Espeon's, uh, Espeon's evolution. A shiny form. I take it back. If, as a... As uh, someone who has Hikarino as my Kami Oshi, I should not be protesting purple to green, you know? I take it back. Done! We got cute Flareon about to, you know, emit a fire spin. The Pokemon show style, clearly, clearly, with his little flames. Okay. I thought I had them in order when I put them down, but clearly I did not. Espeon. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I told you, I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay, now guesses. I wanted you guys to guess if Espeon will have her both her eyes open or if she'll be winking. You know, let's see, let's see. Only two people got it correct last time. Let's see how many of you can guess correctly this time. Yeah, don't mind me as I like separate out by color as I always do. And then I'll do it by... We'll, f we'll do Espeon's body first. For me, I'm gonna guess that she's probably has both eyes open. I just feel like Espeon is a Pokemon I just cannot imagine winking. Or maybe that would be its charm, you know? Maybe she will be winking. She'll give me like a big shock. Okay, so again, we have one. Mel says no winking. And then Perinkle and Bao say not winking. So we, three of us, are in agreement. If Mel was like betting on odds, she would have pretty good chances, you know? Okay, I see an eye. I see an eye. Let's see if I can find the other eye. Oh. oh, I see it. I see it. Hold on. All right. It looks like... Not winking. You did not bet. Oh, you had such good odds. And it looks like this time, Mel, you were right. Espeon. It's not winking. And I also, I think I was right. I think I said not winking because I can't imagine Espeon winking. Maybe that's just copium. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to figure out where it goes. But basically we have confirmation. She is not, he, sorry. They are not winking. I always assume Espeon's a girl, even though in like Pokemon Coliseum, it is a guy. I gotta be like, I gotta get with the times. All right. Right, right. Okay. Let's do it. Today is just a lot of me going like trying to pick up things and failing. If it was like take a sip of water every time I could not pick up something, you guys would be so well hydrated. 
Oh, that is adorable. Okay, so you know how each of the Eevee Lucians has like a symbol? So Eevee's a heart, Vaporeon's water, droplets, Jolteon is little lightning bolts, Flareon is flames, and it looks like Espeon's is little suns, which is adorable, adorable, adorable. When I, when we went against, not I, but when uh, Pokemon had Lisa and Tate as like the double trainers, I always thought that they should also have Espeon and Umbreon. It just, it would make so much sense, you know, because they have the whole sun and moon motif. It would work. It would work. Ooh, okay. Does that go there? Does not go there. Could not go there. Oh, it goes... It looks like it's supposed to go there, but it does not. Did I put it somewhere wrong? Maybe it's wrong. Maybe this is wrong. One more down. Okay, yeah. <sighs> when pieces fit, they're not supposed to. It just makes things harder than they're supposed to be. Or maybe that was me. Maybe it's because I'm not looking closely enough. <laughs> grasping at puzzle pieces. Instead of grasping for straws, you're grasping for puzzle pieces with gloves on. That's going to be my new thing. It's a mouthful, isn't it? It's not as easy to say as like grasping for straws, but like grasping for puzzle pieces with gloves on. But it's so realistic. Like I've lived that experience. I find it extremely more relevant. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna... It looks like it goes there, but does not. Ooh, you're right. Maybe Umbreon's will have crescents. That would be super cute. Mecho kawaii. I do want to do another Dorlingo stream soon. Ish. I think Dorlingo is like okay for review. But I will say like I don't find it as fun as I used to just because you're kind of like not able to progress or jump back and forth as easily. Kind of makes sense but also like takes away like the charm of Dorlingo compared to other sites. Wait, why? Who brought up water poisoning? I, I must have missed something. When did we start talking about something like that? Confused. Very confused. This is what happens when I, like, can't constantly look at chat. Um, okay. Hold on. I think I'm gonna leave this piece for the edge. And then we're gonna work on Espeon first. Nope. This, this one. You see, there's like a little circle here and I'm like, oh, wait, 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 that's supposed, is that her forehead? It is, okay. I forgot Espeon had like a little circle on his forehead and I was like, where does that go? Man, as an Espeon stan, I am disappointed in myself for forgetting its signature red jewel on his forehead. The source of the... Not the source, but where it centers its psychic powers. I feel like I wasn't wrong, but it also does not go there. What in the world? Bup, bup. Oh, take us. You're, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, taking a sip of water. I see, I see. Yeah, okay. Maybe you guys, maybe it's not such a good idea for you guys to do like a take a sip challenge. You're right, you're right. My bad. I have, like, short-term... The thing is, here's the thing. I have really good short-term memory, which is why, like, school was okay for me because I retain things as long as I repeat and practice them pretty well. But then, like, when it comes to me talking for some reason, as soon as it leaves my mouth, uh, I can't remember necessarily. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget. It's not good. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But uh, it's interesting to me that I can like retain things if I repeatedly practice them. And then when it comes to other things, it's like, boop, gone. All right. Aha, that makes sense. That, that, and then this. We see its tail. For, um, for Flareon, Flareon has like only a... Oh, it does have a bit of its tail, I see. I was like, why does Flareon have... Its positioning shows less of its body compared to the others, but... Also, this is such an iconic Vaporeon pose with, like, its tail wrapped in the front. Oh my goodness, so cute. 
So cute! That does not go there. <laughs> Even I can tell. Yeah, I know. I'm so disappointed in myself as like a espion stan. I forgot. I forgot. I blame it on the fact that I've been like trying to pick up pieces. And that's been like my focus is like, how do I pick up puzzle pieces? So I've like for thrown everything else out the wind, out my head. And it's just been like, how do you pick up puzzle pieces? And I don't know if you guys can tell, like my gloves are already like l releasing fibers just because of like how, <laughs> how much the puzzle pieces are sticking to my hands. Nope, nope, nope. Um, okay, all those go there. This one probably goes... Nope. Almost goes up there. Missing one piece there. I don't want to move on until I can put in that one piece. Oh, there it is. All right, now we can finish the rest of the Vapor uh, <laughs> Vaporeon. I have Vaporeon on my brain. It's not my, well, this is my fault. All right. Um, this is piece goes over here because it's the tail. This piece. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. The system's been working. I might need new gloves after this. Uh, I didn't know that these gloves would be like one use only. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's also really interesting because the thing is, I don't have a favorite Pokemon type. I thought it would be water and like, it would make sense for it to be water, right? But I just don't really like that many po water Pokemon designs. Like, I, my favorite, my favorite starter Pokemon are always water. Always. I am a water, a uh, water starter Pokemon person. But when it comes to like general types, if I had to pick one type of Pokemon to be like a gym leader, I wouldn't pick water. I would actually pick ice. And that's just out of uh, elimination. <laughs> like I feel like I would be able to make myself an ice team to represent myself as a gym leader, but I could not do that with other types. So that's just like a, it's like a conundrum, you know? Like I can't really explain it. I thought it would be water Pokemon, but I just... Eh. Eh. Oh yeah, names. Names, I always feel really bad. Have you guys ever been in a situation where like you go to a retail store, the sales associate introduces their name, and then you just instantly forget. You just instantly forget. It's not on purpose, but you just, you just don't remember. And like if the sales associate is not wearing a name tag, I just... I, I usually don't remember their name. I feel really bad, even though they just told me their name. Ice is also blue, yeah. Like, <laughs> technically. But if you look at ice Pokemon, technically, they're usually white, right? Their, their color scheme is not usually blue. That's why I think it's, like, interesting. Oh, well, not interesting. It's just a quirk of mine. Oh, you guys all agree it's still blue. Okay, you know what? Fair. I guess like the type is blue. But for me, it's like the Pokemon are typically white. Grass is really cool. I think grass Pokemon, like some of the grass types lately have been like knocking it out of the park. I love Lilligan. I love, Sp I can never say its name. Sprigato? Sprigatito? I like whenever I think of Sp like the new Paudia grass starter i think of axel's way of pronouncing it so i always call it sprigatito even though i don't think that's how you're supposed to say it is that how it goes i think so oh no yeah names are hard i think okay i think a general consensus is names are hard unless you're like really familiar with the person and you like speak to them frequently which is fair Although I do say, like, if you write emails and you get someone's name wrong, that's on you. Because their name is probably, like, on their signature in the email. I've seen cases where someone's name is 
on the email sign. Like they sign the email with their name and people still spell it wrong. And then that's on them. That's on them. <laughs> you can't blame that on anything else. Oh my goodness. No, yeah, you know, sometimes there are like lots of people you meet. We like, our brain chooses and decides what to like memorize. And sometimes, you know, sacrifices have to be made for other relevant information. Like how tall is Shu Yamino? <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure like for the, you do your best to remember the name. And I'm sure they understand. Oh no, it's not just you. I also forget. Like, I was trying to remember all the names of the Niji EN fans, and I just I could not think of half of them. So, uh, do your best. Oh my gosh. Sapphire. Oh, that's my favorite game. If there was one game I really want to see ported from Pokemon onto the Switch, it would be Soul Silver and Sapphire, because I just have such good memories of those two. I have a story about Sapphire. It's kind of silly. It's kind of silly. Um, I was, Sapphire was like my first Pokemon game that I like kind of took seriously because when I got Fire Red and I was like interested, but I still hadn't like gone really interested in it yet. It wasn't until Sapphire that I got interested and I was so stubborn. I kept trying to find a way to get to the eighth gym, Wallace's gym, without catching Kyogre because I wanted to get the experience fighting Wallace before I went against Kyogre because I was so intimidated. I was like, oh, it's a legendary. It's going to be so hard. I don't want to use my Master Ball. And I basically just made it hard on myself. So I never finished Sapphire because I did not want to fight Kyogre. <laughs> okay, yeah, not, not just because it's blue, okay? That's why I picked Sapphire over uh, Ruby. But I just, I do have really fond memories. I also used to call Kyogre, Kyo, wait, Kyo, Kyogre, I called it Corgi or something because I did not know how to pronounce it. And I just kept calling it Corgi until someone like corrected me. <laughs> uh, I've committed so many. I forgot to show you guys though. This is the full Espeon. And now we're going to see Umbreon. We're like halfway through. Look at that. We're halfway through. Yeah. Pokemon X? Okay, that's the thing. I did get Pokemon X. <laughs> I just don't remember the game. I do not know why. I do not remember playing Pokemon X, but I do have it. One thing I've been trying to like, trying to figure out right now is a setup so I can play the old Pokemon games on my DS. On But of course, like, I will say it now, I did not mod my DS. So I'm trying to figure out a way to like, showcase it without using something else additional so i hope to be able to play like ds games on stream in the future it's gonna be kind of like jank setups but you know it'll work yeah okay now we're on umbreon umbreon now do you guys want to guess two eyes not blinking or wink wait uh two how do i say this not wait winking or not winking ha winking or not winking for umbreon i don't think i'll be able to figure it out as quickly so you guys can take your guesses as i try to assemble umbreon my guess is he might be winking because we've got wink no wink wink no wink no wink i think we're due for a wink i just i feel it in my bones you know All right. Wah! I think that goes there. In the end, we got... Nope. Um, nope. That goes there. Winking, I have an ingredients. I see a winking and no winking, so you guys are pretty split pretty evenly. It is tough, I get it. We've uh, been relatively, they've been, uh, you know, 
They got us a couple times. Ooh, shiny Altaria. Dang, that's a good out. That's a good shiny. I think the fact that it's blue and then yellow, just like I don't know if you guys have seen shiny Psyduck. It's my favorite shiny. The shade of blue that Psyduck is, the shiny Psyduck is gorgeous. I would, if there's any Pokemon I would shiny hunt on stream, it would be for shiny Psyduck. And the shiny Altaria is like equally as gorgeous just like a golden color because you know it's a dragon right it's oh my gosh one of the coolest shinies in my opinion look oh there it is there it goes it's stuck on for a little bit and it's like hey you can't exploit me like that um Probably not this one. I do kind of see it. I feel like Umbreon's just harder because I can't visualize its placement. I see its little feet there. Its little paws. I think this goes there. And I say like even though I'm having like a bit of a harder time, but technically we're like done more than halfway. Let's see. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You know what? Fine. I'll do it down here. Nope. The only shiny? That's fair. You know my- oh my god, wait. You guys, my only shiny so far that I've ever found just naturally has been in uh, Pokemon Violet. It was a blue Voltorb. Can you believe that? Of all the shinies I have ever gotten first in my entire Pokemon gaming career, it was a blue Voltorb. I feel so gratified as someone who's obsessed with blue. I think we're about to see it. I can I can kind of tell. I can kind of tell. But yeah, I, I love my Voltorb so much. <laughs> I also called him Chidori. I think it's fitting, it's perfect, he's perfect, he's blue, not just because he's blue, but he is perfect, even more so because he's blue. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like, I had no control over it, it was fate, fate, I tell you. Ooh, it looks like Umbreon is winking! There we go, so we got wink, no wink. Wink, no wink, no wink. Wink. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like rubbing its face with its paw. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look, Mel. It does have little crescent moons in its background. Ah, that's adorable. I love this puzzle. I love this design so much. I will say though, even though I love puzzles, I have never wanted to frame one. <laughs> And I put this in the wrong place. I've just never wanted to frame one. And I think it's just because, like... I've n Maybe I haven't found a design I like enough to frame, but... I've never had the urge to frame a puzzle. Okay. There we go. That fits. For some reason, sometimes pieces in my head fit when you put them with other pieces that fit. This one does not fit. Probably... Does it go up there? It does. You can't tell the pattern now? Yeah, they're trying to keep us on our toes, you know? Oh my gosh, how did you get shinies in fire red? Well, maybe I'm saying that because I'm someone who played it like as a kid, so I never thought the shiny hunt, but... Interesting, interesting. Which one's your favorite shiny? Like, if you guys could have just only one shiny, one shiny, which one would it be? For me, it would be Gardevoir. It would just be shiny Gardevoir. I think it's, like, so cool. Oh, we had lots of time? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I think shiny hunting definitely is a time... It's, like... If you're doing, uh, what's it called? An endurance stream? Shiny hunting? Yeah. That's an endurance stream. It will, like, the time will pass so quickly and yet so not quickly, won't it? 
Oh, shiny Umbreon. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The only thing for me is I never really use dark Pokemon on my team. That's why I'm, I'm like shiny Umbreon would not get a lot of uh, would be like a good partner, but I would feel bad that it wouldn't get a lot of battle action. I use Gardevoir all the time though. So Gardevoir for me, 100%. Um, 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 no. Where could this go? Oh, down here. So the thing with me streaming like this is like my mic's in the way. So sometimes I'm like trying to look around my mic to see. <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. Oh, there. <laughs> And sometimes I'm just blind. Sometimes I'm just blind. That's so weird. Okay. Do the pieces I can do and then the other ones will fall into place. Yep. ta -da! Oh, almost done. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. This one goes there. This one goes... Hmm. It would not go there. This one goes down here. Then how does... Oh, okay. I wouldn't have thought. From my perspective, I thought it was like a skinny piece. Ta-da! Well, almost. We're still missing a row, aren't we? Two. Okay, I put the rest in order, so... Leafeon! But we still have to finish Umbreon first, so... No need to guess just yet. Ooh. I like how you have a really extensive reasoning for Celebi, but you know, totally, totally fair. Cele Celebi is so, so good. So cute too. Very memorable, it's movie. Very sad, but... Deoxys, also valid. Deoxys is kind of like a, a nightmare Pokemon for me. Like, if I had... If you were to tell me what is an alien and what is a Pokemon, I would have thought Deoxys was an alien, you know? You know? But, you know, very valid, very valid. I hear they're very strong. But I also think it'd be really cool. Like you said, it's super rare, right? So it'd be like bragging rights. I don't know what, what color is a shiny Celebi, by the way. I think it's like a lighter shade of green. But maybe I'm just biased because like shiny variations sometimes are just... <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys have seen Kyogre shiny variation. I don't think there's... If I remember correctly, there's not that much of a difference. If it was not for like the shiny effect, sometimes I wouldn't know if I had a shiny or not. Well, actually, technically, as someone who doesn't have shinies, I guess it doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, shiny indicators, very, very helpful. All right. Little paw. And then we got the ear. And one more, and then we can get to Leafeon. Aha, there we go! And this is another habit I have when I do a puzzle. As soon as I finish a section, you have to press it down just to get it like smooth and even. But there we go, it's so cute! Oh, pink with green eyes? Dang! Okay, I, I was totally off. That is so cute, that is so cute. Pink and green is such a great combination. Oh, it's hot pink? Oh my god, I thought that was a fever dream. I thought that was like a troll. Oh my god, I can't believe it's actually hot pink. <laughs> okay, you know, I said I want a shiny's distinctive, but like... Uh... Maybe... Maybe like, sometimes it's a bit too much, you know? A little too distinctive. Okay. So, so far, we have... Wink. No wink. Wink. No wink. No wink. Wink. Is Leafeon gonna be winking or no winking? My guess is like, they've been throwing us off, okay? They have this nice pattern going on here. I'm gonna say winking. Winking for Leafeon. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Let's see if I can build Leafeon. 
So we have... Um, no, that does not go there. Oh my gosh, it's its tail. I think it's its tail. Okay, so we got that. Not winking. Winking, okay, okay. Oh my god, I cannot believe Groudon is mustard yellow. That is, uh, that is something, okay? I don't, uh, meh. They're like, dang, you guys want opposing colors? Okay, you guys get opposing colors. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh no, it's not winking. They got me, they got me. Leafeon is not winking. You know what, fine, fair. You win this time, Pokemon design is still adorable. Leafeon is one of my favorite Eevee Lucian designs. I think it's so cool. I just, I don't know, I love it. I mean, I could say more about it, I'm just losing my voice. <laughs> it's much harder than I thought to like, put down my puzzle and get a sip of water. I mean, I could, but like, puzzles. Look at how like, far we are. Like, I can't stop now. Nope, this is definitely... <sighs> Over here. Nope. Over here? Ooh. Well, that hasn't happened in a while. I guess we were due for a puzzle flip. That's what I'm gonna call them, puzzle flips. Oh, that would be amazing. You're right, because they do have that, the deer Pokemon in Paudia, where it's like, do they have spring, summer, fall, and winter with Deerling, and then Sawbuck. I think that's what it's called, Saw's Buck. Leafeon being like autumn would be so cool. It would be such an allure accurate, and also it'd be like a shiny variation that made sense. I totally agree. But yeah, <sighs> they got me. It's not winking, but it's still adorable. Wait, hmm, actually I can put this here. I forgot how, how far the camera can see. All right. Oh, there it is, the little paws. The little paws are like the cutest thing, I don't know why. Something about like animal paws are so cute. I'm looking for this piece. Oh, there it is. Hehe. <laughs> Oh no. Um, hmm. This is. I see, I see. Because there are leaves. I mean, I didn't guess what uh, background design Leafeon would have because I was pretty sure it'd be leaves. I'm glad, like, we got. I got that right at least. I just didn't say it out loud. My bad. But yeah, it has leaves as its design. Very uh, makes sense. <laughs> grasping for puzzle pieces with gloves on. There must be an easier way to say that. I just, I'm not, I don't have like the focus right now to think of a more clever way. All right, this goes there? Yes. Yeah, I think, I'm sure like they do have their reasons, but also like, they're making the Pokemon, I guess it can be whatever they want it to be. I also sometimes wonder if they do it just like to troll us. They're like, you may think you want this, but you actually want this and you don't know it yet. And we're like, no, we actually don't want that. They're like, no, 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 you want this. Because we are kind of at the mercy of like their design. But it must also be like, how fun would that be to like create these designs, besides the fact that people are like, some people are going to like it, some people aren't. But just having that ability, that reminds me. So lately, I've been looking at a lot of Kickstarter games. Like, sorry, not Kickstarter games, but like games that uh, you can help them in their production by backing their Kickstarter. And some of the abilities now where like if you pledge a certain amount of money and you can like make an NPC or you can like design something or you can like... I think that's such a great element 
because it does it seems like such a great perk excuse me now you guys don't know i love indie games i do i did quite a few indie games when i first started i've done a few less just because i have like a huge catalog of games i'm trying to get through but i love indie games and i've backed quite a few i've backed a couple of puzzles too so uh, you guys may see them in the future when I get my, uh, when I get the result. Because so far, I will say I've been very lucky in that the games and things I've been backing on Kickstarter have delivered. So I've been very lucky in that regard. Sometimes that does not happen. So I totally get it. Okay, sometimes I'm like trying to like read your guys' messages and I'm like, did I miss any? Okay, okay. Sometimes I look at the puzzle pieces and I'm like, huh, I wonder where this goes. And I was like, wait, that's your job to figure out. Okay, we are... Nope. Probably... Nope. Oh, wait. Ha, huh. like this. That means this is one... Oh, there it is. Goes right there. This is part of the fun for me, like why I don't look at the box as I put together puzzles. Cause I like kind of using my vision and like trying to piece together how the puzzle should go. That's part of the fun for me. I really enjoy it. I think it kind of like works my brain too, which is good. I think I need it. Uh -huh. There it goes. This goes there. And once you reach a certain point, it's like, yeah, things are pretty straightforward, which is good. Hmm, I think it goes there. Okay. I will also say, like, if anyone's interested in buying a puzzle from the Pokemon Center, based on this one experience, not a lot of the pieces, like, were stuck together. And the ones that were, it was just kind of, like, because of shipping. The quality's pretty good, the fit's pretty good, the colors are beautiful. And we're done with Leafeon. So I would buy from the Pokemon Center again if they release any more puzzles. 100%. And I mean, I do buy from them, but like puzzles were definitely like... Uh, I wasn't sure, you know? I wasn't sure. <laughs> Pretty good though so far. Yay! Oh my gosh. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we're on to... Glaceon. And I will say, I don't like the blue they chose for Glaceon. I would have liked it to be an icy blue. I think that would have made it more distinct, but it also would have been more true to the ice type. That's just my preference. It's still pretty though. Ooh, Bulbasaur line puzzle. Yes, I would love one with the starter Pokemon. Oh, wait. Um, I'll show you guys at the end of the stream. I have really cool Pokemon puzzles from Japan. I would love to show you guys. I'll show you guys after I finish the puzzle today. Because I think... How long has it been? Oh, it's only been like almost two hours. And we're almost done. So maybe I'll show you guys some of like my favorite puzzles. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Picking out all the ones that have association with Leafy on first. But personally, if I ever got another, if there was a puzzle I would love them to make, I think doing one with just shinies would be so cool. With just the shiny variations. Like, I would love, like, a, a Pokemon chart of, like, 1 to 51, like, all the Pokemon, but only their shiny variations. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Yeah, like, unfortunately, the thing that sucks about Kickstarters is you really are trusting them with your money because you're, like, pledging in advance, right? And I always am of the belief that uh, what you do will come back to you. And, of course, it's not an easy consolation to people who have put their money in and who have trusted people and they just haven't gotten the product. That's why I'm pretty careful with who I do back on kickstarter but so far i've been pretty lucky 
I've been pretty lucky. So that's made me like more willing to also back projects. It's kind of a cycle, you know? But those people, I believe, will who do just take people's money that they trusted them with and then run, like, <laughs> I hope nothing good happens to them. I hope that they get, like, nothing but hot pillows and they don't get a good night's sleep for the rest of their life if they just took the money and ran. Eek. Okay. We're finally on Glaceon, second to last. Since we've gotten Wink... And no wink. I'm guessing Glaceon will be no wink. And the reason I'm guessing Glaceon is no wink is because we have Sylveon. If Sylveon is not winking, I will be shocked. I will just legitimately be shocked if Sylveon is not winking. Oh god, what do I do? It's not coming off. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a that was a little, you know, touch and go there. Touch and go there. I think that goes there. Not quite sure. I also don't like puzzles where like you can move the pieces after they go in because that's usually an indicator to me it does not go there. It's not supposed to move once it like gets in position like this. Hopefully that's right. Um, we got all these. I don't know yet. If I don't know, I don't put it down yet. There's no rush. No rush. I say that and then I just don't put anything down. <laughs> Not winking? Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know, Lily. I'm definitely interested in trying it. So if I ever see it on sale again, I will get it. I will get it. I will get it. I've definitely seen that it is hard though. It's a very unorthodox game, isn't it? Like the way that they do the rhythm, I've seen that it's uh, I didn't watch the whole thing because when I like a game and I want to play it, I usually don't watch the whole thing so I can have like a little bit of a surprise. But I've seen, from what I've seen, it is very unorthodox. And I think that's like part of the fun of it. So definitely we'll give it a try. And you guys can uh, see how... Uh, how good, how good I am at rhythm games. <laughs> totally copium. Okay, so we have a couple guesses for not winking, because, you know, it's Glaceon. If Glaceon winked, I think it'd be, like, devastatingly effective. It's just, it's one of those Pokemon, you know, where it's, like, winking would be so gap mo for some reason. With, like, the design, it would be devastating as an attack. Also, Lily, if you want to take a guess, all the Eevee evolutions have been winking or not winking, and we're trying to guess if uh, Glaceon will be winking or not winking. So far, it seems like most people in my chat agree uh, not winking, just based on external factors like Sylveon. <laughs> I also hope we get a new Eevee evolution soon. That would be so cool. That's one thing I would love to see in like a game in a future Pokemon game. It's just the new evolution. Okay. Mm, not winking? Yes, we have more in the not winking group. Ooh, new types? Yes, I agree, I agree. New types would also be fun. I just feel like... Like, of course, there's only so much we should be able to do. I feel like definitely there's still so much to explore in the current types and everything we have. But I feel like we are due for a new evolution, even if it's like to introduce a new type. Although I don't know what that would be. <laughs> I've seen people make suggestions for new types and I just... I can't really imagine what a new type would be. Eek. If you guys could make a new type of Pokemon, what would you guys want to see? Okay. All right, thanks for stopping by, Lily. I hope you have a good night. Rest well. Thank you so much for dropping by. Ooh, falling asleep? Oh, I think I've heard that. 
I think that would be pretty hard for me. Like, uh, one thing you guys probably won't will or won't be surprised is I'm kind of a night owl. So, like, maybe I'll fall asleep. Maybe I won't. Usually, I'm not too affected by things like that. That would be super interesting if I do, like, get sleepy on stream. Or, I say, interest, I say interesting, but maybe just for you guys and not for me. <laughs> I'd be like, dang. Or, you know what? Maybe I'd be, f maybe I'd be more entertaining if I was sleep. No, 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 no. I don't want to, I don't want to think that way. You know, like, I'm, I'm fine as I am. I don't need to be sleepy and sleep deprived to have a personality. Ha! Ha! Hmm, fox. Well, yeah, I agree. They could have more fox designs, but like, types, you know? I saw someone suggest, like, sound as a type. Which I think would be... It's definitely unique. I've never considered sound to be a type. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's not easy <laughs> making new Pokemon variations and types. Oh, I see it. I, we have one eye. We have one Glaceon eye. And it's n open. <laughs> Cursed. <laughs> Cursed gloves. Aha. I need to get like tweezers if I do this again. I need some form of object that allows me to like pick things up. Oh, okay. There we go. That's where it's supposed to go. Yeah, I think the types they have are really diverse as they are. Yeah, I know. It was just a suggestion I've seen people like throw all, throw around on forums. But I do understand where they're coming from because technically there are already a base of sound Pokemon that you could make a new typing from. Ooh, okay. It looks like Glaceon is not winking! Huzzah! I swear to God, if like Sylveon is not winking, I'm gonna like... <laughs> They really got us. They really got us if Sylveon's not winking. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Nope. It would be, honestly. I, I'd be like, well, you got us. You got us. She's not wink. They're not winking. I keep saying she. The only Pokemon I can assume that are females is now Gardevoir, Lilligant, and the new Pokemon, uh, what's it called? Ogrepon? Ogrepon? I think that's its name. But I like how the only all-female variations are uh, grass types. Oh, Gallade for guys. Gallade for guys. I think also... Oh no, I think Bisharp can be guy or girl. So there aren't too many Pokemon that are like guy-only variations. Which is interesting. Um, This might go there. This probably goes there. And then we got that. Which fits and does not fit. Why? Oh, it does. Okay, okay. For a second I was like, why does it not fit? Alright, alright. I am missing a piece. Unless I did it wrong again. Again. I think goes there. 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 I'm just missing a piece. Okay, good. I didn't do it wrong. Okay. Oh, Vespaquin. You're right, you're right. See, I knew there was one more. It was like a queen... Queen bug, queen bug. Which, you know, makes sense. I love that Pokemon kind of have the Pokemon in the Pokemon world mirror reality. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, the reason there are so many water Pokemon is because it's truly, if we, content, if we consider how many, the kind of like animals or bugs or, for example, fish we find, there are significantly more creatures in the ocean than there could be on land that we still have not figured out. Or discovered. So I love that kind of like real life accuracy. I think that adds another element to Pokemon. Okay. 
Um, no. Yeah. All right. Her, almost. And then... This one. And the last piece for Glaceon goes... Up here. Huzzah! Oh my gosh, she, they look so cool! Glaceon is just like staring us dead on. Alright, just making sure they're all flat. We're finally on... The last... Sylveon. Will Sylveon be winking? Oh, I also love Sylveon's shiny variation. I know it's blue. That should be obvious, but I do love it. I think it's really, really cute because it's a blue and pink combination. Very pleasing, very pleasing. I think that goes there. Uh, Michael, it goes one more down. It goes one more down. You know why? It just has little paws. There are little paws here. Sometimes it's context clues that help you figure out where things go, and that's okay. Okay. So Glaceon has snowflakes, and I do see that Sylveon has little bows, and I just love how, like, Sylveon's signature is its bow. Mm, I think that goes there. Because this one goes up here. Okay. Will Sylveon be winking? Uh, I see one eye. <gasps> what? Sylveon's not winking? Oh my god, they got us. Chat, they got us. Sylveon's not winking. <laughs> of all the Pokemon to not have winking. Like, okay, Glaceon we expected, but Sylveon? Sylveon, the cute Pokemon? Oh my goodness. You know what? I couldn't have predicted that. I couldn't have predicted that. <sighs> oh no. I'm still shocked. Look at that, two eyes. What is this? What is this? You know what? At least they gave us Eevee winking. It's just, that's what raised my expectations, you know? Like, it was so cute. Why why wouldn't they have Sylveon winking? I'm, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Why? We won't get an answer for this, will we? Okay. Almost done. One... Nope. Oh, okay, this goes down there. We have been bamboozled. You know, they raised our expectations, and then they're like, Ha! You thought you figured us out? I think not! Alright. Order. But I will say it's very cute. It's still very cute. It's just... It would have been cuter if they were winking. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's not that Sylveon isn't cute. Sylveon is adorable. We all know that. I like how this is what, like, gets me. After the whole... All the... All the puzzle grasping. After everything. It's the fact that Sylveon's not winking that gets to me. <laughs> Okay, that was because it was sticking to each other and my gloves. Alright. Does not go there. Does not go up here either. Oh, that's it. it does go there. Okay, okay. Tricking me because it sticks to my gloves. That's my ex that's my copium. Hmm. I will say that 
when Pokemon released Sylveon, they knew what they were doing. Like everyone had wanted a new Eevee variation for so long and everyone loves Sylveon so much. So maybe that adds to their pressure of like introducing new Eevee evolutions. Or maybe they think that it's fine with the way it is and they just don't want to add more evolutions. You know, that's also valid. That's also valid. It's their vision. But if there was to be a new evolution type, I would love to see... Let me think. Maybe a fighting type? That would be pretty cool. A fighting type evolution, could you guys imagine? Okay, you know what? There we go. Um... Nope. <laughs> fans will riot maybe maybe but technically like would we riot like really pokemon fans i feel like we'd just be really disappointed but then they like give us something shiny and new and we'd be like oh new game so i don't know if we like riot riot you know oh my gosh the last three pieces one or three i should have counted down two one imagine it didn't fit and then i like had to figure out which one i got wrong that is it we thank you thank you oh my gosh wait you kind of can't see hold on you kind of can't see Okay. Okay, now you can see Sylveon. <laughs> Yay! Thank you guys! Thank you! That was cute and that was a lot of fun. I like that a lot. Eevee with boxing gloves. Exactly! You get my vision! But thank you! This is so cute! Now let's see. Here's a test. I'm gonna... I may regret this. I may or may not. Oh, okay, I can kind of pick it up. You can see it's like breaking off, but you can kind of pick it up. I think if I prepped it better, maybe I'd be able to like pick up the whole thing. Let's see, let's see. Let me just press everything down. We'll try picking it up again because this is a Western puzzle and actually it fits together pretty well. It's not loose like Japanese puzzles. So it makes me wonder, can you pick it up? Ooh, I kind of can, I kind of can. <laughs> yeah, you know, after all that work, I'm just like, hey, I should pick it up. But it, it stayed together mostly, didn't it? Yeah, that's cool. That's a good puzzle. Huzzah! It survived. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> Whee! Also, I did not realize my camera's at a tilt, so when I look at the puzzle, it looks slanted, but on my screen, it looks straight. Huzzah! Thank you, guys. I'm just gonna show you something really quick. Alright. So, I mentioned, I have a lot of really cool puzzles. Like this. You see it? This is what they call an art crystal puzzle. It's like semi-transparent and it's plastic. This one in particular is another evolution. Hold on, let me get the angle. It's another evolution one. And it's still relevant because there haven't been any new evolutions. But it's so cute. In contrast to this one, which is Fire Starters, it's, it's a little out of date because it doesn't have the new ones. This is a bit old, but I love that it's all the Fire Starters. 
Yeah, and this one's semi-transparent. So if I were to have a light, it would like have a really cool reflection. It makes me really want to do it, but it is only 208 pieces. It'd be super fast, super fast. I also, Bows, because you mentioned grass, I do have a grass type one. As you can see, it has all like the grass types uh, up until, I think, Decidui. That's the latest one. It does not have the newer ones. It's very cool. And then, of course, my favorite. I got all three. <laughs> I got all three, not including the evolutions, because technically these ones were a set. But it's super cool. Yeah, so like I have tons of puzzles I would love to do on stream if you guys like this kind of stream. I do kind of like just being able to talk and chill with you guys. The only thing about doing these kind of puzzles, the pieces are, are small. And it makes me like kind of not sure because this one was big enough that I could kind of like get away with like grasping. I don't know about this one. I got to think. I got to plan this out properly if we're going to do this one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had fun. I would love to do more of these kind of puzzles and the these kind of streams in the future. I also have like ideas for other hand cams, which after this experience, I, uh, I have some better ideas about how I might do them. We'll definitely have to figure out like gloves though. I don't know if you guys can tell. It has like, they're kind of worn out already. It's only been one stream. Yeah, they are. They're not just going to be flying everywhere. They're going to be like, literally, like, I'm going to have magnetic hands that are only like attracted to puzzles. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was so much fun. I'm glad you guys were able to enjoy it. And I'm glad I was going to able to share like one of my all time favorite hobbies with you guys. So thank you so much for joining. I will have my schedule up soon. I'm still debating like what to put on it. I have some ideas. I have some ideas, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. My schedule will be up. Waiting rooms will be up. This one was a bit kind of weird just because of IRL stuff, but I appreciate you guys for understanding. And thank you guys for joining me today. I had so, so, so much fun. I hope you guys have a good day, a good night, or a good evening wherever you are. And as always, rest well. I hope to see you guys in another stream. Bye! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you!